Alright guys, welcome back to part three of the architect plot. In this video I'm going to be showing you, or we're going to be building together, a uh, the general store. And so yeah, that's what we're going to be building here. And first of all, I'm just going to show you what I've done since then. I've built a little house here and I have finished up this house here. As you can see, I put in a lot more detail. There's going to be more detail into this house over here too, eventually. I also did another house over here, the diagonal one. I liked how it turned out, and I also added in this little addition back here, the green roof. So yeah, that's about it for that. But let's get right into this because I don't want this to take too long. Uh, first of all, let's go ahead and build up this foundation because I don't feel like this is tall enough yet. I usually like to have three spaces from the ground level um, before I start building on. So let's just go ahead and do this, make it an even all the way around. Oh, come on. Having trouble here. There we go. Get in here, destroy that block. Also, I have a little bridge here. What do you guys think of that bridge? It's like a little overhang kind of thing. And then that connects into the tavern. Um, and then I'll have some sort of functional purpose over here. Maybe uh, one or part of this floor will be part of the uh, tavern storeroom or something. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, somehow that bridge is going to make sense. I just like, I just wanted a bridge here. So anyway, let's go ahead and start building this. So, um, let's make it out of, I don't know, what kind of log do we want to make it out of? I use a lot of logs. Let's make it out of spruce. Spruce sounds good. Okay, so, I'm trying to visualize what I want. Not really. I want an A-frame here, up top obviously. And I want a porch somewhere along here, maybe a porch here. So yeah, let's make a porch here. So let's go ahead and build this up, like so. We'll make, there we go. And then let's go ahead and take a sample of this all sided, there we go. And let's go ahead and take some of that. Oh, we don't want that. Go ahead and build this along here. So I want this sort of be like a three-story porch here, and then it'll like this will be one story, and then say this is the second story. I think that's right. Yes. And we'll go ahead and build that. You know what? That's too tall. We only need. I think that's right. One, two, three. Yeah, three blocks. That's fine. And then, obviously, we're going to go ahead and make some rails in there. There we go. And then, obviously, the roof up here. Very good. All right. So now, let's go ahead and build up this sort of uh, pillar there so that connects. And then a pillar here so that connects. That's good. I always like thinking, I made something like this on a, a different server a while back, and I really liked how it turned out, so hopefully this will turn out relatively well as well. Well as well. Yeah, that's good, good grammar. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> Very good. So obviously when you're making an architect plot, you need lots of purpose into the plot and you need lots of detail. Like I said before, no half-witted attempts. We can fairly quickly tell if you really put your heart into it or if you're just trying to get a rank really fast. Uh, typically if you're trying to get a rank really fast and you're not really putting much care into it, um, you're going to most likely not get the rank. So. Be sure to be putting your best into the plot. Okay. That's not bad. And then let's do that there. Build that up some. 
and then let's a frame it here like that very good wait that's dark oak isn't it that is dark oak what what since when since when was i using dark oak i forget all right dark oak out there we go <clears throat> Good. And we want to grab a stair. Where's the stair? There's a stair. And we're going to put one there, and we're going to put one there. So that's a floor, and then that's a floor down here, too. Let's go ahead and build this up a little more. Because that is a floor right about there. Good, 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 good. Go ahead and put that there. All right. So now we have a kind of like a front to the house. And obviously, uh, not obviously, but for this house, let's try to use endstone because endstone looks good. If I can find endstone, donde estas endstone? There's it is. That it is. Found it. So typically, when I use the endstone, uh, you gotta, I go all the way to the full side of block like that. So I get a basic idea of what it's gonna look like. I don't want to just place the endstone and then go through all the textures that's good okay and let's go ahead and do this something's wrong there obviously well darn um, um, you know what well, we'll just make this a porch area just like the other build so we'll just do that and then we're just going to build this up here. Uh, fill that in actually. And then we're going to fill this in with that. Actually, we're gonna do this, put that there. And then we're gonna do this. Fifty, fifty, good. That looks much better. Okay, so now let's go ahead and build this up have that and we have this so we have a nice little porch here a happy little porch like Bob Ross would have said Bob Ross was an uh, a painter way back uh, but I think he pa I, yeah he passed away a while back and uh, he was he would always say happy little trees or happy little clouds <laughs> I always I loved watching him. He was very inspirational. Um, but anyway, off that top topic, uh, so we have sort of like a facade to this house, and now let's go ahead and do this. There we go. We have a three and we have a one. Let's do that, so we don't have to worry about a two. There we go. Now let's go ahead and do this instead of logs. Uh, yep, yeah, there we go. I like using these barrels sometimes because they have a nice texture. Yes, they look like food now, but eventually they will look nice. As I'm sure you guys have watched Jamesy Boy's videos, he uses them quite a bit for his Nordic bases, the foundations. So. Anyway, uh, that looks pretty good. And now, let's go ahead and roof this in. What do I want? Do I want a steeped roof? Or I want a domed roof kind of thing? Well, what kind of roof do I want in general, actually? Uh, let's go ahead and go with a... We still want sort of a darker roof, so let's just go with this. There we go. I'll fix the textures later on. You guys will understand what I'm doing later on. Right now it looks a little weird. I have no, that was Facebook. Darn Facebook. Making all these noises. <laughs> so there we go, there's a nice little roof. And then let's go ahead and fill this in with that. And 
then we want to go ahead and build up here. Let's do this. We don't want that, so we want that, we want this. Very good. I'm using my Port Haven style roof. Actually, this is one of my favorite roof styles now because it's just pretty awesome. I just love the oak and the dark oak, um, how they combine so well. And we'll do that and that. Then that. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. good. Okay, so we put that in. We won't even be able to see any of this, I don't think. There we go. In fact, I think we're just going to do this because that's being a little derpy and that doesn't look right. So, yeah, we're just going to keep it like this because that's going to keep it down a bit. All right, so there is kind of a roof, and then we're gonna make this sort of stuttered. Let's just do this. It's not bad. It's not bad, it's not bad at all. So yeah, I'm looking forward to Victor coming back. He's on vacation right now. He's gone gallivanting across Europe. Looking for who knows what. He'll come back soon, hopefully. So there we go. But yeah, Victor and I have some pretty cool video series coming up to entertain you guys. It's not going to be exactly... The main portion that we're thinking about isn't going to be building, per se, but it's going to be uh, something entertaining, hopefully. So uh, hopefully uh, that'll be fun for you guys to watch. And let's go ahead and... Kind of windows do I want? You know what? I won't even worry about windows there for now. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and build this up like that. Put you there, and then we're going to border the oak around like so. Very good. Vitty vitty good. And actually. That'll do for now. Uh, that'll do. So, and I'm sure you guys heard that Mojang or Mojang was bought by Microsoft. Uh, I already told you that in the last video, actually, in the metadata video. Um, everything is looking good for the server, actually. I mean, I'm I'm very positive about uh, Raven right now because. I mean, the whole issue, you know, we might even not be, be able to update to 1.8 for a while, even if we could. So, I don't even think we will because, obviously, since metadatas are such a key portion of this server, um, they're keeping it on 1.8 or 1.7.10 is the smartest thing to do. So yeah, we're just kind of building it up a little bit, getting an idea of what we want to do. And let's just do this. This will be more of a tall structure, obviously, because it's right in the middle of the town. And since it is a tall structure, that would be a tall, very tall. That's why it looks abnormally tall. I feel like there needs to be something there. It looks like I, it needs to be a porch. That's what it needs to have. There needs to be a porch here. So we're going to go ahead and do this. This needs a porch. Eventually, when you guys get up to a little building level, you just can look at something and you're just like, holy cow. That needs to have something there. I don't know what but something's missing. And once you're at that level, you're just gonna realize, you know, just so many things that you need to add into pretty much everything because um, 
especially when you're building um, you know anything really it's you always you always feel like you got to keep adding that's my motto don't destroy just keep adding otherwise you start really losing progress and when you lose progress you don't build anything and when you don't build anything then that starts to become a problem because then you get really discouraged and becoming really discouraged is not a good thing not a good thing at all so we're gonna make another porch here because porches are cool yes people have asked me if they like porches or if, if I like porches and my answer to them is yes I do like porches because porches are very aesthetic I feel you can do a lot with them so that's gonna be a porch here and we're just gonna build that in like that and so they people can just sort of sit back here and wave at people as they look out their windows so just imagine sitting on your back porch taking in the scent of all the garbage down in the street below and just enjoying the smog filled skies watching smoke billow in the air people screaming as they're running from robbers and thieves and all that stuff down there yes peaceful morning anyway um, we're just going to keep building this a little bit um, actually I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this video now and I'm going to build a little more and actually just pop the roof on really quick and then I'll see what I I'll show you what I've done and uh, we'll see um, what you guys think all right I'll be right back actually I've decided that it's probably best that you guys watch me make the roof because a lot of you are kind of like, you don't really know you know what to do to make roofs so I thought yes this is a good opportunity to just to sort of show you what, what I do so anyway uh, we want to make this roof so let's go ahead and just a frame this you just sort of make it as natural as possible without providing any chance for flat spaces uh, within the the structure flat spaces meaning you don't want any like flat tops uh, otherwise the rainwater would uh, puddle and then it would cause problems so we don't want that no we don't that would be problematic <laughs> see what I did there <laughs> So, uh, let's A-frame this as well, and then we want to connect an A-frame over on this side, somewhere. So, let's go ahead and connect the A-frame actually here, um, right there. I mean, we're not technically going to be using all these logs. This is just the outline, and it's really good to make an outline. Otherwise, you sort of lose track of what you want to do. And that actually works out perfect like that, too. Cool. And then you have that nice little area there. And then let's say we want to add a nice little... I feel like there needs to be something like tall out of this area here. So what about a tower? Maybe a little uh, tower for the guy to read. So let's just make it a... Well, darn. Let's do this, maybe. A three. And that's a three, I think. Yep. And then <laughs> I'm getting really confused now. And then this is a three. And they want to build a pillar right out of there. And then this is, nope, you know what, forget about this tower thing. That's too big. I would like to have a tower, but I feel like that would be, there needs to be something out of that. So you kind of, you can just kind of look at this and you can see how it's going to look. Like right now it's really unbalanced, but I feel that some kind of tall thing out of this area, and I don't want to be stone because there's a stone over here, there's already stone over there. I want it to be some sort of wooden thingamajimmer. Maybe, oh, 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 I got an idea. Dukon has an idea. 
We're just gonna do this. Yep. We're just gonna make it flat. Cause you know what we're gonna build up here? We're gonna build a garden up here. Who wouldn't like to have a nice little garden? And then obviously you gotta make little drainage areas for the rainwater and all that stuff. But that would be cool. And then we want to build a way up here. So we're gonna have to make this taller actually. So let's just go ahead and make that taller and A-frame it. Dumb thing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, it's trying to drive me crazy. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to go ahead and build this back here. And we're going to A-frame this part. Actually, we're going to bring it a little more forward. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. So now we have a sort of unbalanced build, but with the garden up there, it'll look kind of cool. I'm going to reinforce it and uh, make it look nice. And it's going, it's going to look nice. It's going to be like maybe some like food and some flowers, nice little place to sit and relax and have a nice little view of the town. Check it out. And Saltfire is running around. Hello, Saltfire. In fact, we're going to do something cool. Did you guys know that you guys can take a clock? Where's the clock? There it is. Take a clock. Click it. Now you don't see anybody. Woohoo! Just so we don't have to see Saltfire running around and be a distraction. So anyway, that looks pretty nice, I think. A nice little um, roofed-in area. And so when I come back, I'm going to have all of this filled in, and we're going to have a finished tavern. General store, I mean. Yes, general store. All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, and I am back. And this is the final product. Well, not exactly the final product, but it is the shell product. Um, minus some details. I have a few details in there, but this is a pretty good idea of what this is going to look like. So you come through, and I made it so the bridge has half sort of the uh, bridge part there. Um, I'm, I'm going to revise that some. It still doesn't look right. Uh, also, here's the porch thing. So there's two separate porches. Let me turn speed off. There we go. And uh, so you have the bottom floor, and then this will be where the general store is, the actual main portion of the, uh, the whole building. And then it'll have stairs up, obviously, to the different um, stuff. And I need to say obviously too much. I need to say, I need to say obviously less. Obviously. <laughs> anyway, um, that's just something I noticed. Uh, so this is another set of porches on this side the bottom porch and the upper porch and then you can get down from this porch by going down this way so that's just a little neat cool little thing in there and I think that's all the entrances there is one entrance back here too same basic area right here so yeah and then this will go into the tavern so yeah uh, that's pretty much it there uh, by the time of the next video I will try to have the tavern shell done and I'll try to have the blacksmith shell done and uh, then we will build the town hall together that won't take very long and then uh, we'll see how it goes so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this and I want you guys and also I want to remind you guys when you're building an architect plot we want to see 100% effort put into it it is a lot to get architect on Raven.org. We don't want to see half-witted attempts. Um, it's just put everything you've got into it. Lots of details, lots of lots of stuff. You want lots of uh, just cool stuff all throughout the plot. Maximize the potential of the space that you are given. That is a good way of putting it. So.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like. And if you guys want to see more and you have not already, please subscribe. And I hope to see you guys back soon. And I am really excited about this. Really excited about a lot of things. So, all right. I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.